Good morning, precious hearts. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and thank God for you. Thank God. How are you? New day. Time to flip the calendar, huh? All right. February 1st, 2021. Are you ready? Whether you're ready or not, here she is, February. I just come in from my walk. Thank God. It was invigorating. Uh, I saw some snow flurries. <laughs> we got a little snow, just like they have up north. My goddaughter, Irma, told me that there's a... Uh, they're, they're experiencing snow up north. Isn't that wonderful? Snow. That'll keep the insects down, you know. The uh, mosquitoes. Wow, snow. How I remember the snow in New York in the 60s. I remember the snow. Good morning once again. It is February 1st. The year is 2021. This is just in case. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. Mother Gail Trailer. Hallelujah to God. It is 15 minutes after 6. I've got to go down the road. A piece. Yeah, I had to work this weekend. It was, uh, thank God. You know, thank God. I had to prove him. I had to prove him this weekend. And uh, as usual, he is uh, um, a God of his word. He will keep his word. He will go with you. Uh, he will give you strength. He will bless you going out and bless you coming in. And um, I'm here once again to, to brag about him. Sometimes I was wondering, you know, I was wondering, Sunday said, well, what in the world do you have me here for, you know? What is it about me that you are keeping me alive, and what is my purpose? And it came to me. Hmm. My purpose, and your purpose, is to let the world know. God is. How powerful faith in God is. How he can take you through and allow you to glorify him. Because all of the praise and all of the glory, what? It belongs to him. Hallelujah. And I thank God that uh, he uses us. He uses us. Bless the name of Jesus. I had to call on him this weekend. You know, some of the places you go, um, you need to be there. And he's already gone before you. And uh, he'll send help. <laughs> Usually, just came in for my morning walk. Boy, it was very invigorating. Very chilly out there as well. Very chilly. Hallelujah. Very, very chilly. I'm looking at my uh, sister sent me a card. My baby sister says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear and be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God. Who goes with you, he will not leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. And she sent me some of those nails. I've been using them. Hallelujah. One of them fell off, but uh, I sent for some more. And I'm going to send for the ones that uh, 
she manufactures because I think hers is a little better than the ones I found there on Amazon. I ask the Lord to help me stop me so aesthetic. Please help me to stop looking on the outside of me and work on the inside. I leave it all in his hands. Hallelujah. Some people call it painting the building. Yeah, and you are. You're painting the building. You put on a wig. You put on some makeup. Put your teeth up in your mouth, some of us. Uh, these days I'm wearing glasses. And uh, I was thinking about getting contacts, but I think I like my glasses better because I have a tendency to have infection. Anyway, I'm jibber-jabbering. I'm wasting time, ain't I? Forgive me, please. Your time is precious. Just in case you have forgotten to read the word, you need to hear the word. So that you can uh, be directed and your, your pathway can be lit. Come on, Miss Gail. Grandma, Mother Gail. Praise Lord, Ty. That's my grandson. Hallelujah. I spoke to, um, I speak to all my grandbabies once a week. Hallelujah. I've got uh, grandbabies. Uh, Texas and Florida and... Uh, Texas, Florida, and, uh, yeah, wait, Texas, Florida, where's the other one? North Carolina, North Carolina, on the coast. Uh, thank God for them. Thank God for them. Those are my geniuses, and they are geniuses. They are. They're very, very, very wise and exceptionally uh, intelligent grandsons. And I pray for them. I hope you pray for your grandchildren. Pray for your grandchildren. Pray for your grands. Pray for your children. Pray for them. Because uh, they're going to have to carry on. And they're going to have to uh, press onward and upward and bring their children through. Come on. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this beautiful day, for the cold breezes and for, Father God, the snow flurries and for this new month. Thank you, Father God, for taking us through. Lord, help us today to keep our eyes on you, to gently bring our minds into focus. Lord Jesus, sanctify us through this word this morning, Lord, for your word is true. The word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our pathway. Please bless, Father God, the saints of Tiptoni Baptist here in the valley. Bless those, Father God, downtown Chattanooga, Olivet Baptist, the pastors there. Lord Jesus, bless, Father God, my Savior. Um, North Georgia Worship Center. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for uh, Nick and for Deborah Foshi. Thank you for healing their bodies and bringing them back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're so wonderful. You're so mighty. You know what we need in times like this. This is why you uh, allowed us to live for times like this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for forgiveness of sin. Thank you, Lord, for taking us through the night. Please watch over our neighbors. Lord, watch over family across the street from me, Lord Jesus. Father God, you know her and you know each one of them by name. Henry and his mama. Jennifer, Lord Jesus, and the daughter. Lord, bless Lamar and Roxanne as he's retiring. Bless Lord Jesus, my Savior, uh, Lady. Um, um, Lord, I cannot remember names that great, but Brady, 
Brady and his wife Pam. Lord bless Mother God. All of our neighbors, especially Long and Adam, Shannon and the baby. Bless Michaela, Lord, and her sister. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, wonderful Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do. All that you are. Glory to God. Bless Lord Jesus. Um, Father God. All the saints, Father God, near and far, and help us to lift up your name today. We thank you for these and all of the blessings. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm listening to uh, just instrumental, and I do not own copyrights to the music that I'm listening to. I must say that again. I just enjoy hearing it. Praise the Lord, saints. You know the Lord wants us to follow him. Of course he does. He wants us to follow him just one day at a time. Okay? And, and I think that's enough. You know, just one day at a time. Because we... We're given a lot on our plates to stay in tune and to stay focused. Um, and that's all God requires of us. You know, just one day, not tomorrow. We're not all responsible for tomorrow. But just this day. And and sometimes our our uh, our journey includes mountains, valleys. Sometimes um, the path looks easy, and you're in between trials. And sometimes the paths look treacherous. And uh, along the path, as we're walking. It's easy to stumble, and, and we stumble when we don't keep our focus on where we're going, and our feet should lead us in the direction that God would have us to go in, you know. Our feet should lead us in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Okay, uh, we're going through valleys, and uh, there's uh, mountains in the distance. You know, we look like oh, we gotta we gotta cross over this mountain. Oh, but don't worry about that distance. Just one day at a time, one step at a time. Um, the Lord gives His angels charge over us as we are traveling. Sometimes there's a, a crook in the road and we have to go this way, swerve over to the left and go that way. All the while, the Lord is leading us and his angels are uh, encamped around us. Okay, and, and we, are, we are definitely uh, being perceived by God and our faith is important. Um, as we walk. Very important. Um, he said he would give his angels. He told the Lord, he said, I will give my angels charge over you to preserve you in all your ways. And this was a promise to, of the Father to the Son. I'm going to give my angels charge over you. We have angels we can command. I had to do some commanding yesterday. In the name of Jesus, I came into a home and there was uh, quite a bit of um, uh, a disturbance. And um, I prayed. See, that was the same home that helped me through a situation. Okay, they're Christians, and I thank God for them. And. Um, Oh, precious God, thou knowest all things. I cannot um, go into the situation, but after church yesterday, at 6 o'clock, I had to uh, go to work. 
and um, I'm thanking God for the uh, for the services that I attended because I was able to um, reflect upon the power and and ask God to go before me, and He did. He did. You have to be careful uh, about where you go because you can add oil to the fire that's already in full blaze. But we have the power to bind and to loose. Um, sometimes when you're going to a home that has a lot of sickness in it, a tempers flare because your clients aren't feeling good at all. And um, they're impatient with themselves and impatient with God and impatient with everybody. And, uh, and, and it, 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 they're not reasonable, okay, because they're caught off. But these are good Christian people. And you have to be that light in that present darkness. You have to call for the assistance of angels. You are in warfare. And you have to ask the Lord to uh, send assistance. And he does. And he calms the atmosphere. You just wait. Send up your prayer. And he... Um, allows us to uh, just to to uh, God. He allows us to witness His power because there's a calm afterwards. It takes a little while, just just a couple minutes, and the calm returns back to the home because I had to bind the spirit that were in that home. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm just by myself here. One can chase a thousand, but two, 10,000. I need your assistance. Because there was yelling and screaming and crying. And uh, thank you, Jesus. It did not move me to the point that uh, I could not just go and do something to make things a little better. And that's my job, to make things a little better. In the book of Psalms, 1829, it reads, With your help, I can advance against a troop. Uh, with my God, I can scale a wall. Okay, that doesn't sound like anything you've read before. Well, in the, uh, I think it's the New International Version, the Woman's Bible, it says, it says this in the 29th verse. It says, For by you I can run against a troop, by my God, I can leap over a wall. I couldn't make it through yesterday or the day before. Nor can you make it through. Uh, the treacherous uh, terrain of life without God. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. I have a friend. And I love him dearly. And um, in actuality, he's a younger brother. And uh, I had no idea that, uh, you know, it just didn't dawn on me to some of the things that he has to go through. But I had heard, sometimes I hear, uh, someone else's uh, voice and idea through him. It's like a child who's been around their parents and 
parent says this and that, and the child comes out and blurts it out. That's uh, kind of like my friend. I love him dearly, but I know when um, the adversary is, you know, trying to influence, influencing, and, and God knows he needs prayerful support. And that's what we do. We pray for one another because you don't know the troops that uh, other people are running through. You don't know how high that wall is that, uh, you know, your friends are leaping over. But by God, by God, we can run through troops and leap over walls. You don't know what I'm going through. Uh, you don't know. I don't know what you're going through. But with God, we can run through a troop and leap over a wall, just like uh, David runs. My God, could you imagine the power when we use what we have, our arsenal, prayer, praise, thanksgiving, praise. In the same token, I went to another family who uh, they came together and they, they sang. The Lord tells us to sing, you know. And they have sickness in their family as well, and they're singing together. They have a time in which they sing together. And uh, they have a musical instrument. And they're, they're um, playing musical instruments together. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And I got a chance to read the word to my client. and I tried to put my little alto in between his and hers, the husband and the wife, but it didn't fit. Too many octaves, too many notes. And although the uh, music was familiar, I just... <laughs> but we are to sing songs. Uh, we are to give praises. We are to uh, just lift him up as we are walking through. That's how we stay focused. We bring our minds and watch what you look at on TV. You know, we're soaking in of this stuff. We're soaking in, you know, this world. There's so much going on. Um, in Psalms 91 and 11, and I'm going to turn to that. Okay. What did David write in 91? Psalms 91 and 11. I love David. The um, gentleman uh, introduced me to a book by uh, one of the uh, authors. And the name of the book is David. David. And that, boy, did that look good. Um, the wife had turned me on to a book uh, called Joshua. And... Um, I'm trying to to lasso this mind in on reading, you know. I used to read uh, quite often, and uh, it is a um, a discipline. It is a discipline worth our attention. Ninety-one Psalm, verse twelve says, and I'll read it uh, in this um, version. I don't know if it's the American standard or what, but it says, For he will give his angels special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. That sounds like something that um, the Lord gave, uh, uh, that God gave his son, uh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, it's written about in the 11th and 12th verse of the 91st chapter of Psalms. In a woman's Bible, it reads, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Hallelujah. I mean, we just spoke about that, didn't we? He's taking care of us. 
and he gives his angels charge over us. And we are to remember that. Remember that. Remember that. No matter what we see, no matter what we hear, we're to focus on what God says. That's what uh, Pastor Adam spoke about yesterday. You know, your focus has to be on what God says about your journey, about what God says about you. You know, because the enemy talks. And he talks through people. He talk, talks through uh, media. He talk, the enemy talks to you himself. <laughs> Sometimes you talk to you. It's a journey and it's a battle. But it is doable. Through whom? Through God. Through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, his son. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, New King James Version says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. That is self-explanatory, isn't it? We walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Yeah, you'll have challenges today. Mother will have challenges today as well. However, we walk by faith and not by sight. Not by what we see. Not by the, the cliffs and the, the mountains and the, the, rugged path, the rugged paths and the turning, you know. Each day you're, you're going through a, um, through a, uh, you're traveling through time. And there are sometimes uh, things that uh, loom ahead of you and you, am I going to make it through that? Yes, yes, you will. Yes, I will. Have I made it through before, by God's grace? Yes, I have. Will it happen again? Yes, it will. Why? Through our faith in God. We walk by faith and not by sight. We're journeying through time. And walking by faith, not by sight. Keep praying. Um, I heard a pastor say something yesterday uh, that I was... I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I didn't know that I was uh, that kind of a person. and Because I, I kind of put the shoe on and it fit. Forgive me, darling. Forgive me. I'm a playful person. I, I love to play, and sometimes um, uh, your playfulness is taken out of uh, out of what it, you know, it's just taken out of, and it shouldn't be. Um, hey, I don't know if I'll stop playing with that guy, cause I I think he's just as he's he's just as what? He's beautiful. Beautiful. God bless him. Pray for me. Okay? Just pray for me. Irma, mother loves you, even though I call and you don't answer sometimes. And I ring and ring and ring. Hello? <laughs> I love you, Mama. That's my northern baby. Uh, Tiffany, I love you. David, stay strong. Talk to the Lord. Remember, you're in on this too. You're definitely, definitely in on this too. God cover you with the blood. Duana. Uh, my sister Helena. Spiritual warfare, mama. Spiritual warfare, fight the good fight of faith. We fall down, but we get up in the name of Jesus. Your mother would have it so. My mother would have it so. And she's pleased with us. And they're rooting us on. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus, for Deborah Tinka, uh, for she, uh, Minister Foshi, and for Pastor Nick Foshi. I look forward to the 
beautiful plans we have for this year. We have plans. God has plans. And uh, we're journeying on. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and I'm just passing through. Hope you have a wonderful day on this terra firma. And uh, look to the hills for what's coming your help. Our help comes from the Lord. Okay? Our help comes from the Lord. Remember also, watch what you look at. Uh, filter in things to watch. Be careful. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. And this is time really to filter. You know, we've got to filter out things that corrupt the mind. God bless you and keep you. Happy birthday to my Laura. God bless you. God bless you to my Laura up north. I love you, girl. I love you. And Wilma and Miriam and Michael. You're on your journey. And I thank God for you. Well, have a great day. I'm just passing through.